All right, everybody, today we're gonna do a little uh, boost test on this guy. Got it running. This is the uh, 2J63, uh, 4G63 uh, compound turbo. And I'm gonna set this here to watch the oil pressure gauge and to watch the fuel pressure gauge because it does go a little lean, but I did have a lot of timing pulled out, so it might have gave a false sense. Uh, it does that sometimes. So let me, uh, I'm gonna do this video real quick and we'll see what we got. Try to get right down in here so I can see the, the fuel pressure and the, and the uh, oil pressure gauge that I have mounted. I don't know if I want to be able to mount this. Let's see. Right on the radiator here. So if you can see that. Be able to see that. Hopefully this thing, I gotta mount this inside. That's that and that. So that'll give me an idea of what we got going on and you guys can hear it. This will be like the first real spool test with any tuning whatsoever. So we're gonna find out. on the primary turbo was probably slowing it down but uh, I'm gonna look at the log and uh, watch this video see what we got that way I can uh, determine like what the fuel pressure is doing I just got a single pump on here right now and I'm kind of curious whether it's keeping up but it did hit the two-step I don't know if it hit the anti-lag or not but we'll shut her off um, did run the ice box it did drop so that's good drop down so the temperature gate the air intake temperature is reading and the bottom bottom is hot and the top is cold so it's working exactly the way I want it to and there is a little boost leak inside so I've got a couple of little issues that uh, that I got to address uh, as far as spool goes but that tells me, let's take a look and see what we hit here. Uh, so right now, right now we have 86, it showed 80 on the log, 86, 88, I'm sure that was a lot hotter. It was probably a lot hotter when it uh, went in initially, but uh, yeah, it's, well you can feel a definite difference on them. This one's hot, this one's cold. So that's good. Let's take a look at the log here. Punch it in, see what we got for air fuel ratio is 12.2. 12 
So it was timing because I didn't add any timing to it. And then uh, we made 16 pounds of boost. What I probably should do is set this thing for a higher, a little higher RPM because I'm going to launch it higher anyway. So it looks like we made 17 pounds of boost. We were at basically mid 12 air fuel ratio. I did it. I had it bouncing off the ALS, so minus 15 degrees. Um, I'll probably soften that up a little bit, uh, but you know we'll see. I'm gonna uh, play with it a little more, play with it a little more, and then we'll uh, find out. You know, hopefully shortly I'll be able to go do a trans brake. I mean, it, hey, if I can get it to to uh, spool without the nitrous, which it looks like it will, it just takes a little longer than what I would like. But if I can get it to spool without the nitrous, man, we might be in business. I'll be uh, I'll be happy with that. So that's a little short. Uh, here's what we're working with overall and uh, relatively clean a couple little more things to clean up change that uh, fuel pressure regulator over into the far corner over there once I make a new hose that yeah, I'll have a different uh, oil pressure gauge going interior with the electronic and, but so far so good and uh, I'm, I'm pretty pretty pleased with it so I'll, uh, I'll post this up here pretty soon and then you all can look at it and hopefully within the next week we'll be taking it out to the track and hitting some 60 foots because now that I see the air fuel ratio was good all the way to 17 pounds that lets me know that I'll be able to at least do some 60 foots. I don't know what this pump is going to carry me to. I was going to try to do some 330s before I put another pump on it. Uh, but at this point i'm i'm satisfied with that i know it'll launch at 17 to 20 pounds if i can get it into the 34 30 30 to 40 pound range for the launch and then pull use timing for uh traction control uh then i'll be able to do that that's the goal is to get it to hit 40 pounds and i think i'll be able to do it if i would if i set it up a little higher or let it sit on the chip for even a few seconds it probably would have went probably would have went up you know it would have risen plus I have I basically have the the uh, big big turbos wastegate with like a five pound spring just so it doesn't over boost and uh, so it really doesn't you know it's the small turbos making all the boost right now and so I'm trying to trying to keep that to a reasonable level I don't want to go out and blow it up you know immediately but anyway that's where we're at folks we'll see where we're at but everything seems to be functioning okay. I changed the converter and uh, it definitely helped. The looser converter or probably do a dump valve. That's more than likely what I'll do is I'll make a, a bi-valve and make my own uh, DIY dump valve drilling into the valve body. There's a couple tutorials on there of how to do it. I think it'll be all right, but that's it. All right.